Hey, gun people! Man, this is a uh, this is one of those things that I want to support the cop, but I don't want to support government power unchecked. Uh, so this police chief resigned and has now been indicted uh, for assault. And evidently, this police chief showed up, and this knucklehead was trying to drown his child. I want to say it was a 10-month-old baby. Um, plan to kill his baby. It doesn't give the age. Somewhere else it gives the age. Um, assaulted a handcuffed man. So he's accused of throwing a guy to the ground and hitting him in the face while he was handcuffed. Now, me personally, I don't have a problem with that. This guy's trying to drown his kid. He needs a little, <laughs> he needs a little tune up. Now, my statement would have been he refused, he kicked me, he tried to spit on me, I was defending myself from a battery, uh, you know, but I don't really care why he did it, to be honest. If I was the chief, I'd be like, you know what, I don't like cops taking law in their own hands. I don't like government being unaccountable. However, there's usually exceptions to every rule. And some dude held, he held this kid underwater for 20 minutes. Hang on, let me see if I can find another article. Yeah, so this knucklehead tried to drown his six-month-old daughter in an icy pond. Uh, the chief ended up pulling the guy off him, wrapping the child up with his own shirt. Life-saving measures to save the kid. It was estimated the baby had been in the water for 10 minutes and her survival had been called a miracle because of this police chief. And so the police chief went back and probably was dealing with this knucklehead and he mouthed off like, screw her, she's nothing, Bob, you know, something. And the cop lost it. Look, when you, when you see somebody doing something that, it's kind of like rape, guys that rape women. If you catch a guy in the middle of a rape, it's hard not to beat the hell out of them when you see them beat. Even if you catch them later and you see a woman that's bloody, bruised, battered, and beat the hell out of, and you see the guy that did it, and you're just like, you're a punk, dude. So the, the meat eater and man side of you just wants to give this guy a little come to Jesus meeting. And uh, I tell a crazy cop story where I, I used excessive force when I was in the Air Force, and this woman come up here and brought her little baby kit, kittens up there because her husband told her not to buy food for him, and she bought some food, and he found out, so he strangled them. And she came up there crying and reported him. And I went and arrested him and slammed him into the wall pretty freaking hard. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to get a complaint. But at the time, I didn't care. I was pissed. I thought this dude was a punk. He's going to strangle. So, I mean, if I'm doing that for a guy strangling kitties, can you imagine what I'd do if this dude's trying to drown a kid? I mean, the the chief wasn't fired, but he ended up quitting. And uh, to me, this kind of chief I kind of want in my community. I don't want him excusing horrible behavior. I don't want him thinking that everyone has a story and, it, you know, maybe the guy had problems. No, bullshit. There's certain crimes. You know, they used to hang people for horse thief. Good. I, I still think they ought to be hung for horse thief. I think we ought to be able to hang up a rope. If you caught stealing a horse, they're going to hang you up. Some places, they cut your hand off for stealing. So, I know I sound like a government tyrannical jackboot here, but there's one thing about holding government accountable when they're doing something to destroy. They're doing something for personal gain. They're doing something against the community or the goodwill of the community. It's something else when somebody is doing something to protect the community against bad and evil. So that's why I'm on the fence. He's a cop. He shouldn't have. I don't think he should have quit. I don't think he should have been fired. Maybe he should have been given a stirred counseling, make sure this isn't routine, make sure he isn't doing this for parking tickets. But for somebody trying to drown their six-month-old, I got to be a jackboot here and kind of say, um, I don't really have a problem with it. All right? So you can argue it out in the comments and call me all kind of names. All right, well, in that there.